Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed, and you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly I say to you, whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. John chapter 8, verses 31 through 34. I hate being late, someone laments. It has been a problem for me all my life. Do you really want to change that? A friend asks. Yes, I do. All right, every time you are late to work or anywhere else where you've committed to be at a particular time, you must give me $25. No way, the first responds. I will go broke, but I will do $10. All right, $10 it is. It has to be a large enough amount of money for it to hurt your pocketbook, the friend exclaims. Believe me, that will hurt, the other says. Within about a month, this person finds great motivation to be on time to every place she is expected to be. In the first week, her friend receives only $10. The next week, $20. By the third week, nothing. Then, by the fifth week, she has changed a lifelong habit that has hindered her all her life. In order for her to avoid resentment toward her friend for the money she is forced to give up along the way, the two agree to put all monies collected throughout this experiment into a jar to be given to some worthwhile Christian cause. This ensures purity of motive on the part of both parties. You may be hearing this story right now and thinking to yourself, this sounds like legalism. For the person in the story, however, it is merely freedom. For the first time in her life, she now feels she has some means for changing a behavior that has been causing problems in her relationships and in her work habits. Psychologists tell us that it takes 21 days to form a habit. So if you need to change some habit, you will need to be actively engaged in the new behavior for at least 21 days. The person about whom I am speaking today comes to a point where she realizes she needs help to change a habit she does not want to continue. In her case, it takes another individual to hold her accountable, and it takes a potential loss of something to provide the added incentive she needs. What about you today? What habits may be keeping you from becoming all that God may want you to become? Do you desire change enough to be accountable in a way that it may cost you something when you fail? Why not ask a friend to hold you accountable in an area that needs change today? You may successfully find new freedom as you conquer old negative habits. This has been Upreach, a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Beautiful Lord, wonderful Savior, I know for sure. All of my days are held in your hand, crafted into your perfect plan. You gently call me into your presence guiding me by your Holy Spirit teach me dear Lord to live all of my life